Have you ever felt thirsty after playing outside? Plants get thirsty too, but how do they drink water without mouths? That's what we're going to find out today. It's like a magic trick, but it's actually science. Get ready to learn about the amazing journey water takes from the soil all the way up to the leaves. Are you ready to become a plant detective? Let's go! Let's start with a plant's secret weapon roots. Roots are like little straws that live underground. They grow deep down into the soil where they find water hiding between tiny bits of dirt. Roots are super important because they act like anchors, keeping the plant safe and sound in the ground. But their most important job is being the best water seekers around. Roots are covered in teeny tiny holes called root hairs. These root hairs are so small that you can't see them with the naked eye. They are like microscopic straws that help the plant drink water from the soil. Imagine a forest of tiny straws, each one reaching out to grab a sip of water. These root hairs are essential for the plant's survival as they increase the surface area of the roots, allowing the plant to absorb more water and nutrients. Under a magnifying glass, you can see these root hairs in action. They look like tiny, fuzzy threads extending from the main root. These hairs are constantly growing and searching for water. When they find it, they latch on and start the absorption process. It's a fascinating sight to see these tiny structures working so hard to keep the plant hydrated. These holes are like little mouths that drink up water from the soil. The process is called osmosis, where water moves from an area of higher concentration to an area of lower concentration. The root hairs take advantage of this natural process to draw water into the plant. It's like a never-ending cycle of drinking and absorbing, ensuring the plant gets the hydration it needs to grow and thrive. They're called root hairs, and they're always thirsty. These root hairs are not just for water absorption. They also help the plant take in essential nutrients from the soil. Nutrients like nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium are dissolved in the water, and the root hairs absorb them along with the water. This dual function makes root hairs incredibly important for the overall health of the plant. When water touches a root hair, it's slurped up like a thirsty kid with a milkshake. The root hairs act quickly to absorb as much water as possible. This water then travels through the root system, moving from cell to cell until it reaches the main root. It's a highly efficient system that ensures every drop of water is utilized. The water travels from the root hairs into the middle of the root, where it enters the xylem. The xylem is like a network of tubes that transport water and nutrients from the roots to the rest of the plant. This journey is crucial for the plant's growth, as the water carries essential nutrients that the plant needs to produce food through photosynthesis, where it gets ready for a wild ride up the plant. The water moves upward through the xylem, defying gravity, thanks to a process called capillary action. This process allows the water to travel all the way up to the leaves, where it will be used in photosynthesis to create food for the plant. It's an incredible journey that starts with those tiny root hairs and ends with the plant thriving and growing. Now, imagine a super fast water slide inside the plant's stem. That's the xylem. Xylem is like a special tube that carries water from the roots all the way up to the leaves and flowers. It's a one-way trip for the water and it's powered by a super cool science trick. Reaching for the sky capillary action. Have you ever dipped a straw into a glass of juice and watched the juice climb up the straw? That's capillary action. This fascinating phenomenon occurs due to the interaction between the liquid and the surface of the straw. The liquid molecules are attracted to the straw's surface, causing the liquid to move upward against gravity. This is a perfect example of how capillary action works in everyday life. It's the same way water travels up the xylem in a plant. The xylem tubes are like tiny straws within the plant, allowing water to move from the roots to the leaves. This process is crucial for the plant's survival as it ensures that every part of the plant receives the necessary water and nutrients. Without capillary action, plants would struggle to transport water from the soil to their leaves. The water molecules hold on to each other and to the sides of the xylem tube, climbing higher and higher. This is due to two key forces, cohesion and adhesion. Cohesion is the attraction between water molecules, while adhesion is the attraction between water molecules and the walls of the xylem tube. 
These forces work together to pull the water upward, defying gravity in the process. This amazing trick helps the water defy gravity and reach even the tallest leaves. Capillary action is not only essential for plants, but also plays a significant role in various natural and man-made processes. For instance, it helps in the movement of groundwater through soil and the functioning of paper towels and sponges. Understanding capillary action gives us insight into the intricate mechanisms that sustain life on Earth. Why Water Matters Happy and Healthy Plants Why do plants go to all this trouble to drink water? Because just like us, plants need water to stay happy and healthy. Water helps plants stand tall and strong. It helps them make their own food from sunlight. And it helps them carry important nutrients throughout the plant, kind of like a delivery service. Science Fun The Colorful Celery Experiment Want to see the xylem in action? The xylem is a crucial part of a plant's vascular system, responsible for transporting water and nutrients from the roots to the rest of the plant. It's like the plant's very own highway system. By conducting this experiment, you'll get a first-hand look at how this amazing process works. Try this fun experiment at home. It's a great way to learn about plant biology and have some hands-on science fun. Plus, it's super easy to set up and you probably already have most of the materials at home. Gather your friends or family and make it a group activity. Science is always more fun when shared. You'll need a stalk of celery, a glass of water, and some food coloring. You can use any color you like, but brighter colors like red, blue, or green will give you the most dramatic results. Make sure the celery stalk is fresh and has leaves at the top, as this will help you see the color change more clearly. First, ask a grown-up to help you carefully cut the bottom inch off the celery stalk. This step is important because it opens up the xylem, allowing the colored water to travel up the stalk more easily. Be sure to use a sharp knife and cut straight across the bottom. Safety first. Then add a few drops of food coloring to the glass of water. You don't need a lot, just enough to make the water a vibrant color. Stir the water gently to mix the food coloring evenly. This will ensure that the color is absorbed uniformly by the celery stalk. Place the celery stalk in the colored water. Make sure the cut end is fully submerged. Now all you have to do is wait and let the magic happen. This is a great time to make predictions about what you think will happen. Will the color travel all the way to the leaves? How long do you think it will take? Wait a few hours and check back. What do you see? You might notice the color starting to appear in the leaves and along the edges of the stalk. This is the xylem at work pulling the colored water up through the plant. It's a slow process, so be patient. You can check back every hour to see how the color is progressing. The celery stalk will change color as the water travels up the xylem. Pretty cool, right? This experiment not only shows you how plants absorb water, but also gives you a visual representation of the xylem's function. It's a simple yet powerful way to understand plant biology. Plus, the colorful results are always a hit with kids and adults alike. So, what are you waiting for? Grab some celery and food coloring and start experimenting. WaterWise, helping our plant pals. Now that we know how important water is for plants, let's promise to be WaterWise and help our plant pals thrive. Here are some ideas. Water plants in the morning or evening when it's cooler. Use a watering can to give plants a slow and steady drink. Collect rainwater to water your plants. Every drop counts when it comes to keeping plants happy and hydrated. Keep exploring! Congratulations, plant detectives! You've learned how plants drink water and why it's so important. Keep exploring the amazing world of plants and never stop asking questions. Remember, even the smallest actions can make a big difference in helping our planet thrive. Thanks for watching. See you in the next Little Bee video. Bye!